What's going on my beautiful people? I am Corey McLean and I'm going to stop pretending to be a presenter because I am not. And I'm sure you've read about the title. I audition for a A24 movie and... Clap if you're a failed actor. Um, I auditioned for an A24 movie. I did and it wasn't too long ago. I've got bad hair and I just don't care. Probably should go into like literature, you know, with those lines. Yeah, moving on. Let me take you back to August of 2020. I was on the train coming back from Wales. Okay, no, no sound effects. I was going back on the train from Wales. I was with my friend. He'd just come from work. We were on the train back from Wales, back to our home towns. And, uh, the, the internet there is pretty bad, like it's really poor. So I was like to my friend, bro, can I like use your internet dongle thing? Because they had this little dongle thing where like you could use the internet inside it. It was really cool. I'd never seen anything like that. Like, actually, I had never seen a dongle that actually gives internet. I know if the, if it's a, if it's a thing, that's cool, but I've, I've never seen it. I didn't even think it was going to work. It looked like one of those dodgy ones, but it was Huawei and like my phone's Huawei, so... We're both dodgy anyway, so what does it matter? I connected to his internet dongle thing and the internet was pretty good. We were on a train and there's no internet anywhere. We're going through Wales right now, bear in mind, and there is literally no internet absolutely anywhere because it's field and cows and piss and shit. Like, next thing you know, I get a bunch of messages and notifications thinking it's just going to be the old, same old... I don't know, notification off of social media, an email about a coupon for flipping Holland and Barra, you know, the, the usual. But no, I got an email from my agent because I'm an actor. Sorry, Corey, you're an actor. How cool. Ooh. I got an email from my agent. If you don't know what an agent is, it's someone who gets you auditions. And uh, I got an email from them. I was like, oh, this is cool. Um, let's have a look and see what it says. And it was for an A24 production and I was like okay I love A24 they have made some fantastic films like 8th grade good time lighthouse uncut gems to name a few you know moonlight my literal favorite film so I was looking at the email I got sent the sides I got sent uh, the casting director for this film wanted to see me video audition for it I had already previously auditioned for a movie with that casting director before so they gave me another chance for this one and they wanted to see me again the sides were pretty short there wasn't much to it and that was good for me because it's really short i can learn it quick it's not like something i have to religiously memorize i got sent the actual the script of the movie like the whole movie and that doesn't happen too much it's occasional depending on the context when you get a, a short amount of lines they want to give you the script so that you know the context of the scene and um, I actually read the whole script usually honestly I don't always read the script because sometimes it's like I know what it's going to be like and I read the script and it was really really interesting and I was like this is something I really want to be a part of you know nonetheless I really really enjoyed the script it was fantastic and I was like this is really well written so I think I did it a day after I, I got the email or maybe the day after that I had a long time to do it. I had, a, I think I had like five days and I, I had a rest day from my work the day before. The first hour I did it, we got it all done. I think it was like two scenes, but they were really short. I'll try and insert a clip somewhere here. Hopefully, as you can see, it, my hair is a mess again. Like when is my hair not a mess? I need my own personal stylist. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, but nonetheless, there's a plane. Can you take me to the A24? base so I can like persuade them to give me yeah it's gone again it, does, it doesn't care uh, I don't blame it he sent it off had the scripts and I just did what I had to do sent it off that was that all done usually when I send things off I usually forget because it's like it, I'm conditioned now to the point where I don't actually like focus on it too much because I know with this industry this profession there's a lot of rejection and i've already experienced a lot of rejection and that's just that it's just life do you know what i mean we move so i did i moved i carried on i live carried on life i sent it off that was that my agent received it it was all done i actually forgot about it i didn't hear anything back for like a 
a whole month and I was I wrote it off I was like okay maybe not but with that being said I don't even remember I, I forgot about it so I literally forgot about doing the part but with these things you just forget because it's like there's so many and things like these it's best not to focus on them too much after you've done it. Uh, walking home, just chilling, you know, minding my own business, nearly at home. Check my phone, boom, email. It's from my agent. I was like, okay. Oh, it's from the film I auditioned for for A24. Oh, okay. I was reading it. I was getting a bit excited though, because like when you hear stuff back, it's it's either a yes or a no. But I got excited because it was like, oh, I actually heard something back. Because usually they don't actually tell you if you didn't get the part or not. You just don't hear anything back you just don't get any response and that's what happens a lot of the time in person auditions video auditions you just don't hear anything back sometimes and that doesn't mean you did you were bad it's just like you went right for the part and there's so many people they auditioned that some people they got to audition it's like they don't reply to every single actor which is like i know bummer but it's just, it is what it is so i got an email i was reading it i was like oh, okay i heard back and then i heard oh no not this time they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine and it's like you only get that little feeling of ah hmm like that kind of feeling like darn it and i was like okay cool and then i literally writ it off but i was actually surprised i actually heard anything back that's cool you know that's life and then it lit I was looking at through YouTube and then I saw A24 and it reminded me to talk about my experience with auditioning for an A24 production. I want to do different things on this channel. I don't want to just stick to one thing and then just keep doing that one thing. So yeah, that's my experience with A24. But with that being said, I will be in an A24 production in a few years. If it's not in two years, it's going to be in five. If it's not in five years, it's going to be in ten. And that is a promise, okay? Look at me. I'm going to be in one. I was Corey McLean. Peace out.